Hey guys, it's phase one once again. In this video, I'd like to discuss how we got here as it pertains to the development of Star Citizen. Right now, we're at 3.17.2, almost there. And uh, we're also going to talk about how close we are to a 4.0 build and some of the reasons why I'm excited for it. All right, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and also leave a like if you'd like to see more Star Citizen content. All right. Uh, before we move forward, I'd like to give a big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. All right. So um, a big thank you to you guys all once again. All right. So before we talk about where we currently are right now, I'd like to quickly do an overview on where we actually came from when it came when it comes to the development of Star Citizen. Right. When I got involved with the project, it was around 2014, 2015, and I remember having a um access to just a hangar you know i don't know if you guys remember that but we just had access to a hangar and the ship that we owned and i remember having my self land hangar and the experience of finally walking around and seeing your ship and being able to enter the ship and sit down was was a fantastic experience something that you weren't really seeing in any other game you know so we went from that to arena commander where we could actually do some combat you know that was really exciting it was i remember having some intense nights you know just plugging in my my headsets and and just playing and playing for hours hours on then you know was was very 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 exciting back in those days and then they went on and added the social module right for those that remember the social module was more so an opportunity to actually see art corp so you get to load in you know and you could actually walk around in Art Corp. It was the very first version of Art Corp. It was a very small area where you could actually walk around and, and see other players as well. So it was a little, um, uh, I, I would say, a snapshot on, on what they, the experience that they eventually want us to have. All right. So we went on from that to a 2.0 build. Right. So a 2.0 build was finally more so space exploration and station exploration in a 50 player server. Right, so that was very exciting. Um, it was starting to give us a little bit of a, uh, some, some vision in terms of the MMO experience that they want to deliver with the project, right? So I remember my very first uh, time getting in, I had, I think I owned an Avenger and um, I, I, I ran into um, a constellation, a player that owned a constellation and he decided to fight me. And I remember the, the intensity of that first fight that I had. Um, it was it was so fun. It was so intense for me because the Avenger had that size four Gatling gun, and to be able to hear that, to be able to fire that, to be able to fight him, and that the intensity of almost losing that fight, you know, I never experienced anything like that, you know. So it's been it's been a fantastic experience thus far. All right. So now all the way from this now to where we currently are was from a a 2.0 to a 3.0 build. All right. So. With the 3.0 build, it's it's it was groundbreaking um, with, with what we've gotten so far, right? So we now have fully explorable planets and moons with seamless transition from space to ground and ground to space. You know, you can do, um, you, you can ride vehicles on the ground. You could, you could do FPS, you could do bunkers, you could do caves, you could do some exploration on the ground as well, as well as finding derelicts in space and and things of that nature you know this is something that we, we up till today we don't really see that too much in the gaming industry you can only find this in star citizen you know you can do this solo can you also do this multi crew you could do this with other players and that and i feel when we do that with other players the experience is, is so much more enriched you know and um right now we currently have different various uh careers there is more to come but right now we have access to mining career at least some of the first iterations of that we have a little bit of trading as well we have a little bit of exploration as well we also have bounty hunting uh some combat as well as piracy all right so all these things are currently in the in star citizen right now and um they're pretty fun right so players that are just coming in they have an opportunity to try out different mechanics within the game and it's it's pretty good right now all right. Along with that is the whole um, affinity aspect of the game where there is some level of progression with the various factions in the game. All right. So now from that um, to 3.17.1. Right. So 3.17.1, 
Um, some of the, the, the big features that I'm really excited about was the ship to ship desync fix. I forget the exact name of it, right? But they fixed that where, you know, during combat, you're actually seeing the player, the, 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 the opponent ship exactly where they actually are, right? They, they, they improved that. So the experience of ship to ship combat improved drastically with that fix. Now coming along with 3.17.2, they're doing the remote player desync. So same thing with, with on foot now, you know, the desync in between players is going to be at least hopefully removed, right? So that's very exciting for me because they're putting in place the right pieces for um, an enriched or, or better 4.0 experience. And right now it seems like this is, this is, this is how they're starting to build, build things up to that full experience with a 4.0 build right along with that we're getting derelict outposts uh derelict reclaimer outposts now this is this is massive this is a massive ship right along with that you're gonna have npcs on the ground finally using the navigation the nav mesh also um you know defending that area as well right and that's that's exciting to finally see npcs finally on the ground you know that's that's pretty exciting along with that there's going to be npc dropship reinforcement to help defend those areas so that's going to be really exciting especially when you're multi crew and when you're 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 you're, you're um infiltrating those bases infiltrating those those locations with your guys it's it's quite exciting to also be able to do that and coordinate and to to help defend each other uh in those scenarios right so as long um as well as the the derelict um colonialism outpost that's exciting they showed a little bit of that i think earlier in the year you know and and i can't wait to actually get my hands on that right so to also be able to go there and to also find hostile npcs that you have to take down and having the opportunity to loot the area is also exciting for me you know so hopefully it is for you guys as well right and the fact that they've, they've added dynamic events and the biggest dynamic event that they're adding with 3.17.2 is Siege of Orison, where we can actually engage the Nine Tails at Orison itself. That's really exciting stuff. You know, this experience is actually meant to be a PVE event, um, a PVE um, event, but you know, there's also going to be possibilities of PVP. So that's going to be really exciting if you able to, if you have a crew with you, if you have people with you to help uh, you take on this event is this going to be uh, a fantastic experience I'm, I'm really excited for it right so so now the question is what's coming right what's coming so um in 318 now within a month or two we should be getting um persistent entity streaming right persistent entity streaming so now this is going to allow us um hopefully that's the right term for it but this is going to allow um us to place items anywhere even in your ship even where you are right so even if you 30k even if you disconnect from the server you can always log back in to exactly where you are regardless of whether you're on server one or server two or server 30 it doesn't matter you'll always log back in exactly where you were you know so this is a big piece this is a fundamental piece for a 4.0 experience right coming along with that it's going to be um static server meshing that will be coming in with either with the 4.0 or with 319 build possibly right along with that we could, we're going to be seeing the salvage mechanic coming in the salvage career we're going to get physicalized cargo we're going to get personal hangers we're going to get you know resource management on our ships right you got to manage your oxygen you got to manage uh food water and on all those things on your ship right so this is going to add to the survival element of Star Citizen, and it's going to give us a, a completely different experience finally, you know, in, in, in a 4.0 build, right? So, so this is exciting stuff for me, man. This is really exciting stuff. Hopefully it's exciting for you guys. You know, this, with all these things coming in, right? We're not going to, we're going to see, we're, we're going to see in this game something that we've never seen in any other game thus far, right? We're going to see true multi-crew gameplay. We're going to finally be able to do things that we weren't able to do with other players in other games, really, you know, and, and the, the fact that the survival elements are being added is going to, you know, expand upon the, 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 the experience that we're going to have. All right. 
so the ability to work together with other players is going to be huge you're gonna have to work with other players you're gonna have to work with other players to build bases whether you want to set up a mining operation how you're going to defend it how you're going to transport things how you're going to refuel of the ships how you're going to supply food and water and those things right you're going to have to coordinate with other players and that experience is going to be fantastic once again this is the reasons why i'm really excited this is where we started this is where we are and this is where we're going right you guys let me know what you guys are most excited about uh, for the upcoming Star Citizen 4.0 experience. All right, let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.